Hey guys, Ryu here with Not Avid for Blender. In this one, we're gonna be talking about how to start with hard ups and box cutter. It's gonna be an introduction for anyone who wants to get into add on workflow and, uh, you know, has no idea how to do that. So, the first thing you need to know is how to install and how to uninstall box cutter and hard ups because both of these add ons are being updated quite often. In fact, probably they are the most uh, frequently updated add-ons that I know of and the support for them from Team C is just incredible so uh, you probably gonna be you know uh, needing to uninstall them at some point and install them again so I'll show you how to do it very quickly I have them installed so we're gonna start from the you know in the reverse order I'm gonna show the, how to uninstall uh, them okay properly so what you want to do is go to preferences and first untick box cutter and hard ups Okay, that's uninstalling, right? You save preferences, you close the window, you close Blender, then you open Blender again, okay? Once the Blender opens, what you want to do is go here, preferences, and then you want to go into box cutter and remove it, and go into hard ups and remove it. Then, usually, I refresh it and save it, okay? And then you install it, all right? So then go to wherever you have your add-ons, and we're going to install... Uh, the latest version of box cutter, which I think is this one and You simply take this on just wait until it's gonna highlight itself Don't be you know too quick on it because you might get errors then go to hard ups and get the latest version and Then click here wait Boom save preferences you good to go and you will see that there is a hard ups icon here uh, on the top right so out of the bat what you want to do is you want to uh, Take a few windows all right go to this star here and We're gonna take on the auto T panel I'm gonna tell you what it is in a second and then box cutter notifications, which is great and then we're going to turn on the Q uh, menu prefixes and uh, you don't really need to take this on but I like to take this on this actually um, allows you to see mud previews uh, in a similar color and tone that you'll be seeing them in render view and then when you do that go here and save preferences so save preferences and then save your startup file okay so here uh, defaults save startup file and uh, one more time defaults save startup file boom right so then when you open your blender again you'll see that these options gonna be here um, ticked on okay now let's talk about these options very quickly okay auto t panel onto end panel that's really cool so when i'm gonna add a cube with um, shift a right so let's let's just add a bevel. So let's go to Q menu, which is uh, the main hard ups menu. It's like an operational menu, okay? So you press Q, you get access to all the main tools here very quickly. Like for example, sharpen bevel array, and this will change based on which mode you're in. Because if I go to edit mode very quickly, uh, you will see that my menu changes. So hard ups simply selects the most important things that you might want to do with that mesh in edit mode right so anyway let's go to q menu and click on bevel and then when you move your mouse you can adjust the size of the bevel all right and if i had the t panel so i'll press t and end panel open when i actually go to bevel they're gonna disappear to make space for the h menu here on the bottom you see the h menu here and i press h this will show you what kind of commands you can use with the bevel when it's been live uh, so when you're adjusting it to enable some options like for example, I press Z I can see the wireframe, right? Press Z again. If I press for example uh, One two three I can change profiles of the bevel uh, to a different one, etc. So uh, Not all these options here are important. I'm just using mostly. Okay. I'm mostly using one two three I'm also using Z sometimes and quite frankly that's about it all right so you know you don't have to be intimidated by these menus too much all right so i'm gonna add this bevel so that's how you add bevel and if you want to change segments you simply press q bevel and you scroll your mouse okay to add or deduct segments you can see it in the bottom the info is being displayed right now uh, let's talk about uh, the second option here, which we enabled with box cutter notifications. Well, if you're going to go to box cutter, by the way, to enable box cutter or 
hard ups, you need to press Alt W. So if I press Alt W, you will be in a constant cycle between these two. If you want to switch them off, to toggle them off, press W, okay? Alt W is going to enable you to uh, enter box cutter or hard ups and W is exiting the application, right? So now if I'm going to draw the shape with a box cutter, right? So I click, hold my mouse button, I drag, and then I release my mouse button and I, I move my mouse, right? So one more time, click and hold, drag, release, and move your mouse, okay? And then you can see on the bottom, you get notifications and it tells you the depth of the cut, which is one meter, because our, um, our, um, measurements are in meters and the cube is you know two by two by two so this would be about a meter a meter deep right and then you got uh, two modifiers running on the mesh which is basically the uh, bevel and the boolean and then by pressing alt e you can switch very quickly between fast and exact solver for the boolean and this is simply a different algorithm for a boolean um, that you can experiment with sometimes especially when you I don't want to get into too many details but if you really are close to a surface or you for example bullying two items and they kind of touch the faces of each item touch touch one another do not do not intersect fast bullion might not be the best idea exact probably gonna get you better results so you know this is just a quick way of switching between them and then you can press B for bevel if you want to move your mouse to the right or left if you move your mouse to the left and you reset it and you move your mouse to the right you're going to be in chamfer mode and then again bevel mode and with your mouse you can scroll and you can see in the bottom there's a number of segments right so this information here is very very uh, useful and then when you click you're going to apply this right so i'm going to click and i'm going to apply this now the mesh is a little bit messed up you see that the shading is messed up and that's because we need weighted normals and to add them in uh, hard ups it's really easy you just press q with the object selected and you alt click on sharpen and this is like the most basic operation that you'll be performing over and over again right so you're gonna be simply you know adding cube shift a then pressing q bevel adjusting bevel pressing q alt sharpen and then in box cutter mode switch you know starting to cut your bullions right if you wanted to for example uh, do a bit more with your bullions so for instance what you could do is uh, draw a cut right and then hold shift and click which will um, shift the bullion live which means you'll be able to see that bullion after it's been cut because what box cutter does it creates an automatically right it creates a, a folder for cutters okay so when I start cutting, watch this, uh, let me just delete that, right? So I'll delete the character. And then when I'm going to start cutting, it's going to, um, new collection is going to appear, right? Boom. See what I mean? And automatically box cutter was going to do, move that cutter to this collection. So if you press shift two, you can toggle between, uh, an alt H shift two. You can toggle, uh, between the visibility of these, all the cutters. So all the cutters here, right? They're going to go to the same collection. See? all the cutters right so you can toggle them on and off alt h there you go on and off without any problems okay you might want to shift a boolean live so what you might want to do is you know cut right uh, an object and then hold shift and click and then you might you know for example want to cut the cutter so you could do something like this you know uh, right just to create an interesting shape. And then uh, in another in very useful function is ever scroll. So you select an object you want to recover cutters off. You press Q and you go to ever scroll. And this, when you're gonna scroll your wheel, you will be cycling through the bullions running through that mesh. In our case, it's this one. So we click to enable it, go to edit mode, and for example you can do something like this right let's just decrease the bevel because it's a little bit crazy so q bevel and hold shift you can hold shift to make it a little bit more precise and you know go with something like this now let's grab this cutter again right and go to edit mode and we could do something like this okay so you're gonna get some really interesting uh shapes here on your mesh and then let's press shift 2 and there you go yeah so uh you know box cutter and hard ups it's just an extremely fast 
for uh, creating ships like this and uh, it's it's extremely easy to operate these add-ons once you get used to it not a very useful thing to know is adding sharp edges to your mesh i'm gonna just hide the end panel because i don't need it i'll leave the t panel so you can actually see whether i'm in hard ups or box cutter um, but i want to show you another function that's really important and that's in hard ups so when i'm going to press ctrl tilde and by the way if you don't have a tilde key on your keyboard or you don't know where it is you can go to uh, hard ups options here so go to preferences here or you can press um, ctrl k which will give you also preferences window and you can change um, the key map for uh, your tilde key here so you can remap the tilde key all right so you can choose another key but by default it's tilde key so uh control tilde and you're gonna access this really important menu and if you click on this uh, icon here on the top with a wrench you can see that here in this section you can um enable or disable uh, all these edge attributes so crease seam b weight and sharp by default seam is off and you have crease, B weight, and sharp. So when you're gonna click on your mesh and you press Q and you click on sharpen, what it will do, right, it will sharpen all the edges above 30 degrees and will add sharp crease and B weight to all the edges um, of that angle, right? And if you want to remove this, you simply select everything and then press. Uh, mark again it will remove it so let's say i wanted to add only seams to my mesh so i can just remove all these options click on seams press ok select my mesh go to q and sharpen and now i have seams running on all these edges not a useful option of the sharpen or mark because you can see that the option changes depending on which uh, mode you are so in edit mode it's going to be mark but in object mode is going to be sharpen so another useful option uh, a shortcut that i use with sharpen is control click and by the way if you hover over your menu you can see the tooltip right so if i control click on sharpen here it will apply all the booleans and then apply sharp edges to them so let me just remove this uh, the seams so let's go to edit mode and select everything with a click on sharpen a mark to unmark this go to control tilde and remove the seam and apply these and press ok and then i'm gonna you know go to q and if i control click on sharpen it will apply the booleans and sharp edges to everywhere okay look at this you know what i mean so there you go that's how easy that is right another way of applying your booleans okay would be to go to q menu operations and smart apply or you could do this via uh, ever scroll by simply alt clicking so this will apply the booleans as well as all the modifiers except for the last bevel and weighted normals so if i'm going to go to control tilde and go to modifier stack you will see that the bevel and weighted normals were not applied okay but my boolean was applied all right there's one more thing i want to mention and that if you go to hard ups menu and you click on hard ups icon and you click on this hard ups version it will tell you whether you're using current version or you need an update box cutter version is displayed here okay so now my advice to you is to keep these add-ons up to date and make sure that you're working in the at least latest version of blender hard ups and box cutter are constantly evolving but they you know they optimize for the latest version but you can also work in future versions of blender i'm working in 3.0 i've been working in 3.0 for m many months now i'm recording my tutorials in 3.0 so I'm, I'm basically working in 3.0 all the time make sure that you're up to date because there's a lot of new tools coming up and i'm usually covering them on my channel so if there is something interesting coming up i'm going to talk about it like my recent video on for example curves etc um, and you know box cutter version you can see in here on the top so if you just go to whatever website you bought it from like gumroad or blender market you will be able to see the version over there and you know um, you can download the new one and have fun with it all right so the last thing i'm going to show you is the different booleans in box cutter when you're in box cutter menu you simply press d and you will see this menu okay this one is a little bit more complicated so it's, if it's too complicated for you you can either use ctrl d menu okay or you can go here to 
uh, input and you can turn on the D helper and this will basically reverse the order so when you press D you're gonna enter the the old menu and uh, the Pi menu and if you're gonna press Ctrl D you will enter the box helper menu which is a new one so anyway with this enabled when I'm gonna press D you can change the type of cutters okay you are using here so you can have a circle box um, and gone and custom however you can also hold out and scroll your mouse to change modifier very quickly this way so you can see you have more options here like for example you got wedge cut line box um, lasso etc and we're going to talk about it later because they are more advanced but um the most basic ones is a box right then we have a uh, you know circle right this right and you can hold shift and scroll your mouse to increase or decrease number of uh, verts you can see it in the top here and also uh, on the bottom right and you can adjust the you know density of this uh, cut and then you have also ngon right and ngon is an interesting one so let's go to top view so now ngon works in the same way as an already cutter so you click and hold and then you drag and you can see there is an ngon snapping to angles right if you hold control it will stop snapping okay and then you simply release and it's going to create a point and then you move your mouse to whatever you want and you click and you click and you click right and then you know you're done all right so that's how you create an ngon cut now there's much more to it of course we're going to talk about um, more advanced you know options for these cutters in upcoming videos we also have a complete course on hard ups and box cutters so if you're really interested into uh, going deep and you know mastering these add-ons and maximizing the efficiency of your workflow i highly encourage you to look into that course it's only 30 bucks and it's quite extensive it covers all the tools and there is a, a massive course on using hard ups and box cutter and we're creating a really cool sci-fi spaceship and there's not a course in that in that um, course uh, which is the off-roader so it's the previous version because we we created this course quite a long time ago and it's been updated recently so you have access to two courses in one uh, so you can use the new hard ups tools to create the uh, you know to follow the older course and then you can do the new one so there's a tons of content over there and it's you know really um, the most compact package on the market if for people who want to master the add-on anyway guys that's it for this one hope you enjoyed it and give us a like and sub if you did if you don't have hard ups and you want to buy them links are in the video description thanks for watching catch you in the next one